I did it. <laughs> I bought it. I uh, went and bought my new vehicle that I am going to do my van life in and I'm whew, excited and super like nervous at the same time. You know, I, I did the other videos about dreaming and facing your fears and th that was a really good reminder for me when I did this actual process. With one of the original vehicles that I looked at and really had my heart set on. I had done so much research in the meantime and no matter what it came across, it still led me back to the purchase that I made, which I'm gonna let you know what it is before this video is over. But actually had some criteria points. I wanted something that I'm able to stand in. I'm five foot eight. Um, so that does make it a little bit tough to find something with enough room, but I didn't want anything too tall because when I am driving and it's really windy, I don't want I don't want more surface area that's going to affect that. I have to be able to drive it. <laughs> but anything too big is, it is going to be tough for me. It, it would definitely be a challenge. So I was trying to find something a little bit in the middle ground. I also wanted something that I could camperize that could handle the weight. Because any work that I'm going to do to a vehicle or unit that I buy, there's going to be added weight. And if something is barely supporting itself now, and I add all that weight, it's, it's going to cause a lot of mechanical problems later. Plus, I'm buying used, so there's already wear and tear on whatever I buy. So I don't want to put any additional stress on it. Being 5'8", I mean, it's not like I'm six feet tall, but at 5'8", still a significant height for a female. And I want to have enough room to sleep. I don't typically stretch too much, but I want to be able to. I think that makes sense, right? So uh, I want to be able to stretch. I want to be able to move around, you know, if, if you know, I have my nephew or my son or my mom or something that comes with me. I want to make sure that we have room for at least two of us. I want some good, decent gas mileage, right? So motor homes, that pretty much takes them right out of the running. You know, if I'm not going to travel very far, something that's like a motor home would be great. Um, if I'm going to travel lots and I really want to go light on the gas mileage, a small van would be fantastic for that. But then again, I, I, do I want the room or do I get, want the gas mileage? So these are things that I've had to juggle a lot while I was making my decisions. Safety is another issue. Um, if I'm going to do this lone female, I want to make sure that I'm safe. Uh, I want something that's solid and, and not just from people, but like animals. So if I want to go off grid and there's a bear, I might be freaking out inside, but he can't get me, right? So then I can at least sleep a little more relaxed. And I did think about a school bus conversion and you can get the smaller school buses and that's a fairly popular thing right now too, but because well, being the beginning of March right now, and the fact that the weather's so cold here, that kind of plays a lot on my mind. So, whether it's hot or cold, a school bus has an awful lot of windows that I would have to insulate. So, what did I buy, and how well did I do when I first drove it? I am seriously freaking out right now. This is so weird. I actually think I'm crazy. Driving this is way harder than I thought. It's so heavy and uh, oh, it's, not, it's a rear wheel drive. It's not like my all wheel drive and I think this must most definitely be a midlife crisis. So when you look at that, you'd think I'd probably be pretty upset now that I have it. That was just the beginning of the drive and it did get a lot better. Once I hit a highway that I know, um, I, I started to find my comfort zone. So I'm good, I'm happy, I do not have buyer's remorse, and I'm ready to reveal what I purchased. I bought a 2005 ambulance. Um, I'm gonna give a big tour in the daytime of what it looks all around and inside. What I would like you to do is like and subscribe to this video to make sure that you get that next segment that I'm going to tape. And I would like you to comment below on the specific things that you want to know about the ambulance or that you want to make sure to see so that I can make sure that the next video is very specific to what you guys want.